What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and we're going to go ahead and continue on with our puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. And I believe uh, I was heading back into the machine room after coming out of storage, or was it the other way around? I don't remember. Okay. I was facing this door, so I think I was going back to the machine room. I don't know why. No, I got the drill, that's it. So now that I have the drill... Why do I feel like it's like extra dark? Okay, now that I have the drill, maybe I can do something with uh, one of these puzzles that's in... I think this room has the... Let's try combining the drill. Okay, I can't see. Why is it so dark? If I can combine the drill with one of these... I cannot use this item this way. Oh, uh, with one of the other ones. No? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, I can only see if I hold the lantern up, because I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's bright in my room right now. Oh, pretty bright. Alright, let's... The machinery needs more work. God, well this is one picky machine. There's gotta be something I can use this drill. head back up to the... I must have missed something in the storage room. Or I'm missing something in this room. Okay, maybe... No, there's nothing in this room. What I was going for is I was trying to see if I matched the numbers, like three, five, and two. I don't know if that would do anything, but apparently it didn't. Pressure. Okay, so there's pressure, there's flow, and I forgot the other one. But I'm doing... <clears throat> there's something I'm missing. I'm missing like pipes or something. I do here? Flow. Well, let me see if there's a sign in the bottom room. I, I'm not sure if there is. Uh, I don't see one. What's this? Nothing. Yeah, I don't see anything. Why can I not figure out relatively simple puzzles? What am I... what am I not seeing? Let me check my... Medical bracer to improve health and help heal wounds. Okay, well that's useful. Fuel for lantern. Let's check my diaries. No notes. Machine equipment memo. Okay, so there are <clears throat> only two spare rods left in storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged. Keep the others in the inner study rooms. Getting it. I'm getting it. Is there one more room that I 
Let me go back to the store. Hold on. Let me go back to storage. Is wait. What's this? Anything in there? No. I'm gonna need to go back to storage. I'm gonna feel really stupid if the answer's right in front of me. Can I turn these? No. Okay, this is the room with the... Hmm. I'm really trying to figure this out. Obviously, there's nothing. I'm trying to find like a visual clue, like for the for the Roman numerals. It's not working. I don't see any numbers around. There's no other doors in this room. Only the storage room and the study. Let me go back upstairs. Okay, there's the study. And the get. Okay, I went to the guest room. I don't think I went into the study. Or were they connected together? I don't... I don't really remember. I thought they were connected together, but... Maybe not. This doesn't look familiar, so... Yeah, this is definitely not... Hey, more crucifixes. This is definitely not... Okay, why do I hear weird screaming noises? Let's check this over here. The flicker. The bluish light. Another note. To my most trusted student and friend, Johann Weyer, the most remarkable thing happened as I was driving through the Prussian woods and this summer I finally found one of the orbs I have been looking for the last 20 odd years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. Whoa. It was, as it was told about, an underground myth, Mithraic temple crowned with unearthly artifact. The orb was big enough to fill my cupped hands and the texture was smooth and jagged. Its color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility, an artificial paradox captured within the stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Altstad, investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of these enigmatic artifacts. They were real. Okay, that's a long diary, so I'm not, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Okay, nothing else in this room. Because you said something about parts for the elevator being in the study, right? Uh, the the note to himself, or what's this? That's a hammer. That's another note over there. Animal experiment. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous, endogenous response causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe it's the catalyst that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There's an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I, I must refine this process of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments 
must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process and ultimately augments their experience of terror. Okay. What do we got? There's got to be something. Because I am... I'm out of rooms to, to search. Another note. Anatomy Frontiers. Further disappointment. The antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I am unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I can sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but I suspect it will be in vain. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I seek, but I hope animals will suffice as they will prove less of a hassle to acquire. So this dude was experimenting on animals because obviously he thought doing it on humans was too much of a pain. Uh, nothing left here. Okay, whoa. Let's see what you have to offer. sharpen the saw, but I can sense it. It's definitely there. Poor dog. That's so messed up. What's this now? Ah. Oh. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. The darkness in the storage feels strange and unnatural. The rubble from the cave-in is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. Find another way to get around the rubble in the study. Find a way, find a way, find a way. How about the drill? Cannot use the item this way. Wonderful. Well. Find a way. God, it's always find a way to get around this or that. Am I going insane? Oh, I only have a slight headache. Crack windows, panes are held together only by a weak wooden frame. Uh-oh. That's my cue to get out of here. But I need to find a way around the rubble. What? Through these bookcases or... No, there's nothing in this room. There's nothing in the study. There's nothing in the storage. Well, there's probably stuff behind the rubble, but I can't find a way to get around. There's got to be some sort of secret passageway. Here's some pictures of dogs. Dog anatomy. And there's some human anatomy there for you. You know, behind this painting. No? I think I did that myself. Whoa! Oh, 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 okay. That's a little unnerving. A uh, little cupboard full of human bones. Um. I don't know, man. I'm kind of stuck here. Okay, let's keep... Huh. So I can't just, like, pull on anything? I guess not. Ugh, I hear like screeching dogs. God, where am I going? Let's look at my objectives again. Find another way around the rubble in the study. Okay, well that's where I am right now. The rubble from a caveman is hindering further passage in the storage. Find a way to get through. And the darkness in the store feels storage feels strange and unnatural. Let me go back to the storage. I don't know if I'm, I'm kind of just like tread and water in this episode, but you know, I gotta I gotta find out, man. 
if you're watching this, <laughs> watch, help me, help me figure it out with me. The answer's probably right in front of me and I'm just stupid. Alright, let's go. This is where the storage was. If I remember right, we were in danger when we ran out of here before. So I did something. Well, I did assemble the drill down there. Okay. Ah! It would go out, wouldn't it? Oh, that's hardly any oil. That hardly lights anything. Okay, so this is where I found all the drill parts. I'm trying to get to the rubble. Oh no, what? Oh, I was gonna say it might. Thingy go out already. Yeah, I opened that chest before. That's where I found the healing potion. Uh, I'm missing something. The valve has rusted shut. the rubble. I don't see why I can't just drill the rubble. I'm going to try and do the same thing in the storage if I can find it. Oh, here's the, here's the rubble. Okay, what the hell is this drill for then? Maybe putting on the wood? That's where the machine parts are. How am I... Find a way through the rubble. See this door before. Oh yeah, I did. I remember it because it won't budge. Okay, so I'm finding too many blocked pathways and not enough. So clearly I'm missing something. I don't have any more oil. I 
about the study. Okay, so I know there's nothing I can do in the machine room. The guest room, I found the key to the machine room, so the, the guest room's done. There's something I'm missing here in the study. This window cracked. Maybe... Okay, here's some oil. Oh, I gotta refill it, hold on. Maybe there's something I can... Maybe I should break it. Maybe. That'll work. Here, come here, chair. Oh, wow, we closed the door. Okay. Eh! Let's not fall. Let's not fall, Daniel. I'm actually outside. I'm gonna love my lantern just in case. Well, this will work. Should I keep going this way or should I go in? I should go in, I think. What's this? Emergency de decelerator. Chamber controller. What's this? When will it be my turn? Have I not shown restraint? My patience spans centuries from where I came. Mankind has not even wasted a breath. Yet I bow to you. I have done so much for you, and I have gained nothing in return. Agrippa, I trusted you. It was I who, in all fairness, should have entered that gate. Okay, well. Oh. This is going to take another quote twice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Elevator schematics. Can I take those with me? <laughs> Wait. Ooh, do I need these? Maybe. All right, let's continue on through the room. Closing in. Oh, finally. Yes, elevator machine instructions, finally. If the elevator break down, breaks down again, make sure to use the steam engine to build up pressure before channeling it to the machinery. Adjust the levers to get the right amount and pressure inside the chamber. The meters should read up eight and down eight. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Make sure the flow is set according to the flowing chart. Okay. Well, that sounds good. So let's go ahead and go back to the machine room since that's going to be... Okay, yeah. We're going to need to go back to the machine room. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, that's... That's that. A couple tinder boxes. Take those. Those are always helpful. Is there a way that I can get through quicker than going right back outside again? I guess not. Well, let's fill this up. Lantern is now fully refilled. There we go. We're, not, we're, we're playing this game now. All right, let's go. Can I continue this way? I don't think I want to. You can't do anything. Ugh. It's in the trees. All right. So that's the study. We got the study down. Up eight, down eight. So we have to make sure the numbers that we do add up to eight. Which doesn't sound too hard. So I'm doing something right. <laughs> I gotta be. Because I'm, I'm finding parts now, but I still need to find a way to get through the rubble in the, uh, the storage room. I don't know how I'm gonna do that. Because I don't I don't remember finding anything peculiar, peculiar, like the smashing of the window. I didn't I didn't see anything. But there's the door that can't budge. Maybe that has something to do with it. All right. Let's okay. Let's start with this. Eight and eight. All right. So we got. Okay. So you got to make sure that you add it up correct. So we got three. We could do three, three, which gives us six plus two. All right. Let's put these down and see what happens. Okay. That won't work because down here we got four and five. That already equals nine, eleven. So let's try four. Okay. These are both two. Four. 
six is ten. Okay, now we got seven. Now we got eight up here, and this is one, five, six, seven. Oh, damn it. I need five here. Okay, but I need five, and I need this. Right? Okay. Three, four, four, that's eight. Five, four. I don't, I don't want. What's this? Oh, this is six. I don't want. Six and two, that's already eight. I don't want six. I want another two. Give me two. Give this one five. Three and four plus five. Ah, it's nine. <laughs> Sorry about my math puzzling skills. Okay, two and two is four. Plus, what's this? Five? That's nine, so that's wrong. So we got two and two, so we need a four. Is there a four down here? There is not. So, one of these twos definitely needs to go back up, and I'm assuming it's going to be this one. Four. Okay, so now we've got five. Okay, we need a one. Five plus one plus four equals ten. Oh, man, I gotta change it again. Okay, so every time I try to get eight on one of them, it totally screws up the other one. Let's try five and three and one, and then put this down. Two plus two equals four plus one equals five. Okay, the bottom row seems to have bigger numbers, so. Maybe working with the bottom row uh, would be a little bit easier. We could do six and two. Okay, let's try that. Hold on. Six and two, that equals eight. Or no, I don't want that. This, this would be too big of a number. I want this two up. Three and three. Ah, oh, man. Three and three is six. I don't want that six, though. That's the problem. Okay, I want a five. I want a one and a five down here. And screw this six. So two, five, and one. Okay, five, three, and two. God, I can't do it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh... That's a good question, Daniel. I know what it is. It's a Flow steam engine place. That's what the note says, at least. I hit myself with the door. Okay, let's see. I got one of those pipes. Where is it? Flow cycle rod. Okay. Is that the right one? Can I put it in any of them, or... How am I supposed to know which one is... I don't think it matters. Alright, let's head back up there and try it again. One more time before I end it because end my end my misery. Okay. So we've got three, three, five, one, two, four. So we got smaller numbers up top, bigger numbers on bottom, sorta. Of. I they they kinda even out. So one. Do we want three or do we want five? We probably want five and then a two. We move this back up. Eight and eight! I I did it in two seconds. Okay, so this is good. What we need is more of those, uh... Okay, let me look at those uh, instructions again. That'd be great. Find a way, okay. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I need to do, is figure out how to get through the path in storage. Well, where are my notes? I want the elevator machine instructions. Make sure the flow is set according to the following chart. Trinity steam set functions. Note that the machine will not check proper configuration until all rods are inserted. Yeah, so I can't I can't do anything until I have all three of those rods cuz it's not going to tell me if they're wrong or not until I have all three. So, okay, I got that's that's all the time I got for this one. I'm going to go ahead and end it right here. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll head back into storage and try and figure out uh, what we're going to need to do in there. Thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.